Welcome back. Last time uh, we played a few games as a 2Q, ranked up to about 99% 2Q, whatever that means. I'm just going to let the numbers run their course, but let's just continue enjoying some 10 minute shogi and see where we end up. Yeah, today very well could be 1Q day if I could get a match. Good luck. Okay, I confess I do not fully know everything about this opening, but I am mildly amused to see that happening here. Um, let's get my king out of here before I do something regrettable. Um, hey, look, I vacated the king's home square. Alright, that made room for um, my rook. That was kind of interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I know the traditional way I deal with this is by opening the diagonal, but I'm not feeling that right now. Yeah, I think this perhaps makes more sense. Um, let's complete half Mino. Um, yeah, I foresaw this silver approaching. Um, our silver is going to go chasing this bishop. Yep, silver is definitely chasing the bishop. Alright, I admit my attack is just a bit slow here. Um... Yeah, let's open the center file. This is like Urashino, except without retreating the bishop, because I might want to advance it instead. But hey, look, our opponents played Anaguma. Not too thrilled to see that. Well. Far be it for me to turn down a free pawn. Turning down free pawns just ain't how I roll. So, we're gonna take it. Okay, that's an interesting way to play Anaguma. I've not seen this way of playing Anaguma before. I'm gonna approach. Alright. Um... I could just take the diagonal, right? How much do I have to oppose this rook? No, my life gets more difficult if I just ignore the rook, so let's pay attention to it. Um, I could have lifted my rook. That probably would have been wiser. Alright, so... Um, yeah, this is strange. Two pawns in hand. Not sure what to do. Treating the silver feels cowardly, but like it covers territory. And, um, yeah, I think this, going back toward the center, trying to help out my other pieces, makes a little bit of sense in some way. Um, this is going to get Nanashi. dicey. This is going to get dicey. Alright, 
Here we go. Not sure if that or a more aggressive pawn drop was called for. Um, but this is kind of how I envisioned this going. And I'm still considering a pawn drop up here to just really melt everything down. Um, hmm. This also walls off their silver. Interesting. Here we go. Just running on intuition here, which could lead me very far astray. Um, go for me. I was going to sack the knight anyway if he just exchanged silvers, but um, I think this is okay. What's going on here? I thought I had a knight. I don't have a knight. How did I imagine that? Oh, here's my knight. This is the knight I've been considering trying to bring into the game. That's why I thought I had it, because I'm seeing, like, night here or night there. Interesting. I missed rook takes. Alright, so I'm down a lot of material. Um, it's only material. Let's go for the king. Because you know that's going to be successful. Alright, so my rook's trapped. I have to lose the rook. 
but we got two silvers. Mm. This is unfortunate. This is not going to go very far, is it? Oh, really? You would defend your gold with another gold, knowing that Anaguma needs golds to hold the castle. You would still do that. Why? What is the purpose of that? Nifun. It's the slowest attack ever. Whatever. Um, well, this sucks. So, <laughs> you can do it, King. I believe in you. We're down one and a half minutes to seven minutes, and down more pieces than I can count. But, you know, just gotta believe. Not sure why I bothered trying to defend this. Ippun. Oh. Oops. Yeah, Rook drop right next to my king is a bit scary. Um, it's, hmm. So my plan here was to take the knight. Um, perhaps that's not the right plan. Oh, that's checkmate. Oh. Well, that works. Uh, good game. Yeah, lifting the rook earlier would have been smarter. All right. Yeah, it turns out the king cannot fight for himself. Good luck. <laughs> Took a second to pop up. Okay. That's cool. Um, yeah, 
There we go. Hmm. <laughs> All right. What am I supposed to do against this thing? I assume moving my gold is just fine. That covers this pawn over here so that my king could dodge into the corner if we need to do that. Um. Yeah, we are playing shoot, uh, super sharp stuff. If he chases the rook, we sack the rook, because we're in that kind of mood at the moment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, I get the sense that this sack pretty thematic unless they've taken a chance to defend what's going on over here. Um, that said, you know, there could be something better than that sacrifice in this instance. Um, wow. All right, I am drawn by curiosity. Sorry, I cannot help it. Cannot help myself at this point. Curiosity killed the cat. But, um, you know, that's okay. I need to know, because, like, I'm threatening bishop 5-5 five five and then taking the rook with promotion... Like, what could possibly top this? Um, just don't lose my rook to some fork. But seriously, this looks pretty nice. Ah, bishop drop, they take my rook, I take their rook. I could also take here, they do bishop drop. Oh, this hits this pawn. I drew bishop drop in return. They do something with their rook. I have to do something. It's not so clear. Oh, inverting the move order doesn't help me at all. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, that's kind of silly. Um, Wrong diagonal bishop theory. Uh, we'll take my chances. I'm still curious. I am still curious where this wrong diagonal bishop could end up. But I'm pretty sure, like, they attack my rook, I attack their king. It's a fair trade. Um... Although this just chases the king back into the center where it's kind of a castle. I don't know. Oh, alternatively, if my rook runs away and if they actually take here, I do bishop drop 5-5 five, five and win the lance. So, yeah. Um, I still win the lance here. Win is a strong, strong term to be using in this position. We're both going to get something out of this. He's going to get active pieces. I'm going to get one lance. Oh. Okay, they're not moving the rook. That's interesting. Why would you not move the rook onto the open file? I mean, perhaps you're trying to trap my rook? But... I could just sack it. Like, I've got a lance to protect the rook now. Um, this could be fun. Two bishops on an open board. I like my chances.
All right, all right. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, hmm. Man, I don't even get to be cool about sacking this. Uh, well, hang on. I could just take the knight. Nanafun. Couldn't I? No, it's not so clear cut that taking the knight wins. Um, either way, the bishop is superior to everything else here, so I think I'll just take a bishop. That was too heavy handed of me. I should have, like, used my lance. I got all excited. That was not so smart. I got way too excited. But I don't see how the rook could ruin my day, so. This is fine. I could have done better. Yeah, it's okay. Check. Yeah, I'm just not going to let up the pressure, even if I have to sack everything on this square, which I don't think I have to do. But if I had to, I could do that. But I don't think it comes to that. Maybe this is a bit anxious. I liked that it struck the center pawn, but in retrospect, I probably had better. Okay, so bishop, silver takes, knight takes, gold takes, silver drop. Um, I thought I had this in the bag. The more I look at it, the less comfortable I am with it. I was super confident that this was just perfect. And the more I look at it, that's not the case. Um... All right, so they've got a rook and a lance. Bishop silver. No, I'd be I'd be losing a piece if I were to do that. Um. Go from. so confused. Oh! Oh, is that what's going on here? The knight takes pawn, and then I... No, yeah. No, but then this is defended. The rook defends it laterally. Um... Right, 
I think this is my best play here. It's a very consequential move, though. It really is. And there's so much potential for me to get this wrong. I probably still got it wrong, but... I think I did okay. Something. It's very likely I still played this quite incorrectly, but um, I think this could have gone much worse if I had not spent some time to think about it. My chances here are not great. I was extremely optimistic, and I'd mellowed down quite a bit, and I recognized just how much danger my king is in. Uh, so we need to get my king the hell out of there. Perhaps I need to promote the knight. Perhaps promoting the knight was more important than anything else there, but man, this is extremely complex. I can forgive myself for accidentally throwing this game. Um, I was too excited. It's okay to be excited sometimes. If I'm never excited, I never come up with new ideas. Um, oh, shit. There's drops back here. This gets iffy in a hurry. Oh boy. Yeah. Did not think about that. Um. My king is so screwed here, but let's pray. That's all we can do. Let's watch and pray. Um, If I had time, I'd do a pawn drop. There's several pawn drops I'd like to do, actually. There's a pawn drop.
there's a pawn drop. Hmm. Oh, my mate didn't one. That's mate and one. Alright, thanks for the game. I picked up the pace later on. Are we happy now? But that's okay. We did our best. I got excited, and yeah, things happen when I get excited. Sometimes it turns out well. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm impressed how often it does turn out well, to be honest. Oh, I apologize. I should have cut away to this perspective. Alright, good luck. You know, sometime I'll get the hang of this streaming thing. And we'll do better. Sometime we'll figure this out. Uh, we'll just say for now that I was so excited about this that I completely forgot how to live stream. I guess that's my excuse today. There's a new excuse every day, isn't there? <laughs> it makes life exciting. Alright, we're gonna prevent this edge pawn from going too far, and we're gonna build full Mino Castle and do all the good things, and this time our opponent's not gonna play Anaguma on us. And we might actually have some idea what to do. Um, okay. Well, I said we might have some idea what to do. That was, like, the weakest promise ever. And I intend to deliver. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, don't let that pawn get too far. Um, all right, so I can't exchange bishops here because my rook, this line with my rook and my knight on it is exposed. So instead, I'll try playing like this. And I don't know whether my silver goes up to 5-4. Or if I try to reroute my bishop, or there's so many, well, there's only a few ideas, but we got to pick one. If they bring the knight forward, the knight's the target. But if they don't bring forward the knight, then it's not so obvious how to proceed. Alright, the knight's the target. Pretty clear how to proceed here. At least I think so. Why am I questioning myself here? I'm questioning, do I push this pawn first or this pawn first? Um, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Oh. Oh, right, that thing. Uh, so... Is this okay, I guess? Guess we'll find out? I don't remember. My bishop's not defended. Or my silver's not defend. That's okay. Um, I 
Every game is an opportunity for learning. This game we're going to be learning... Damn it. Um... Should have opened the line for my rip before going into any of this. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Well, here we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Oh, no. I did not play this correctly. It's just too much to remember. That's still an interesting rook lift thing maneuver. It's got my curiosity. Um... Well, I could do the most ridiculous pawn drop ever here, but um, maybe it's okay. All right, I don't see anything better. <laughs> That's a pawn drop. That is one pawn drop. <laughs> I am out of ideas when I'm considering pawn drops like that. <laughs> you won't find that in any Joseki book ever. Because by the time you're resorting to moves like that, it... Oh. Well. I lost my audio. Hopefully that's okay. By the time you're resorting to moves like that, something's not right. Let's get their audio back. I don't know what just happened there. Um, but okay. Um, we're going to promote this because you know that matters. And then we're going to come back and eat the night. <laughs> I'm just out of ideas. So, back toward the night we go. Oh, actually, I could have dropped another pawn on the knight's head. I don't think it would have helped. Alright, so they give me a free tempo? But why? We only have one pawn to drop. Man, taking the knight is so bad. But I don't have a better move. That's the problem. Go for I'm gonna take it anyway. And then try to come up with something constructive for a knight to do. So the silver no longer defends this pawn. <sighs> damned if you do, you damned if you don't. Do I push this and exchange bishops? My rook gets so badly hemmed in if that happens. Um, whatever. 
I am hemmed in. I need to do something. Right. Get my rook somewhere safe for a turn. And then try in vain to come up with an idea. Alright, let's hit the lance in the corner. Not making any other subtle threats whatsoever. Nope. Definitely not going to take this pawn here. Why would I consider ever taking this pawn, attacking the rook and the king at the same move? I don't know. Oops, I took the pawn. Alright. Oh! Wait, seriously? Uh, thanks for the game. Your rook's defended. Like... Okay, it was a cool move, but, um, uh, okay. Well, thank you to my translation bot for taking triple question mark and translating it into English. Um, I'm not sure if that got captured in the live stream. No, you can't see the translation uh, on the live stream, but yeah. Apparently, triple question mark is Chinese for question mark, question mark, question mark, etc. Anyway, um, apparently the user interface is not coming back. You thought, yeah, no, as I was playing it, uh, I too, like, was playing it and regretting it at the same time, but did not want to get caught up in the trap of the previous game where I had played too slowly. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm not sure. Uh, that's why, I'm, in fact, I'm trying to bring up the board, but apparently the interface is stuck. So, oh well, we tried. Um, yeah, sadly, I think if the user interface is stuck and I lost two games today, that probably means we're not ranking up. We'll continue attempting to rank up, but I suspected this sort of thing would eventually occur where um, I just make lots and lots of attempts to rank up as I get very close to the boundary. This is surely how people get hooked and addicted to a sonorous website with lots of fun noises and flashy graphics and get really caught up in the excitement of it all. All right, the other thing is I forgot to fix my crop here. Let me fix this too. Sorry about missing quite a few things here today. We'll do better next time. But yeah, I tried to load up this final position here, where after taking the pawn, I mean, yeah, the pawn's limiting the range of my rook. That's really much of the reason I took here, is I didn't like this tension against my silver and rook. I, The rook's defended, like, we see that. I don't know if there's a flip button. There is somewhere here. Um, is it this one? No. There's a flip. Oh, there's the reverse button. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to free my rook up to go attack across the back rank or the, the second row. Um, really, that's more of the motivation for me taking this pawn. But taking in the corner looked potentially strong. I was just... Afraid, after having done a couple really speculative games, I didn't want to do a third really speculative thing. I'd rather go for the safer option, at least one in three games. So, uh, but yeah. Um, they took the knight, I took here. Perhaps they forgot that this rook is protected. Either way, it's upsetting to see this fork. Um, so, I kind of get it. Um, not really sure, like, if the king moves, if I'm supposed to go back here and fork again before taking the rook, and maybe threaten to take the lance instead. Maybe threaten to take the silver instead. I, that's not so clear. Um, but, yeah. Uh, sharp game. Yeah. Yeah. So, a lot to consider. No, that's a good point, too, by him going into Mino Castle. Uh, I need to practice Sume more. I have to develop a better appreciation for when a king is safe and when it's not. 
If you remember my earlier game, I had my king in the center of the board, and I'm like, hey, it's fine. There's no mate in... Oh, there's the mate. So, not that Sume practice will help with that sort of thing, but uh, if I could find a mate in this kind of situation, that would be fantastic. Then I wouldn't have to read out anything else. So... Yeah, knowing where to find the mates and how to start approaching the castle is something that all three games would help me quite considerably. Anyhow, hope we all enjoyed that. It's quite the series. We're still 2Q. Probably will be for next month or so if I had to guess how the site works. But, you know, we'll see how it goes.